Good morning. I hope you are off to an amazing morning. I want to know if you ever do this in your home. There are days, especially in the summertime, when I kind of, there are weeks that we travel and we're gone doing stuff and we, our nights are a little bit crazy or just laid back, honestly. And so my house kind of gets out of control. So today I'm kind of just resetting my home. And I'm curious if y'all ever do this. I've got my cleaning bucket. Y'all, I have had this cleaning bucket since 19. 93. I took her to college and she has stuck around with me for a long time. I got her at Walmart and I love her. Um, anyways, I just kind of thought we would do our homes together. So if you are on today, give me, tell me, give me a harder like, or tell me, say, Laurie, I'm at home too today. I'm not on vacation. I'm home. My, tell me, is your house awesome? Is your house needing some fluffing? Do you need a little attention? We're going to do it together. Y'all know that we do the home planner. We actually launched the kids planner last night. Lowest price is set through 7 p.m. Eastern time. Reagan is going to do a challenge with y'all, or we'll do this with you guys later today for anybody who has kids who might want to join us. Um, but I want to know how many of y'all just need some time to take care of your home. We're gonna go for it. So I've got my checklist back here. Y'all know this is kind of my planner checklist. We are reading through Job right now. I am so ready to get to Psalms. Let me just tell you, we're gonna do some vacuuming. We're just gonna go around and work together. So the first thing I wanna do is some Windexing. So I need to go do my mirrors. So do y'all wanna go? Go, you have, hang on to that bucket. I know, isn't it a great bucket? I love it. Okay, so how many of you guys need to clean your microwave? My microwave, I will tell you that when we moved to this house, there you can see, the microwave is up high. And um, I don't think I realized how filthy our microwave gets. Like it is always disgusting. Does your microwave get gross? When it was lower before in our last house, it was in our cabinet. And I just didn't realize how nasty it was getting. It's gross. So I'm doing that. Now someone told me that it's not great to use Windex on stainless. Have y'all heard that? So um, I, I'm gonna use something else. Actually, I've got this Wyman stainless steel that I picked up at Kroger um, that I'm gonna use on my stainless part of this. I don't know if that's really true or not. I hope it's not because I've used a lot of Windex on stainless, but this is super easy. This, this Wyman works. It's just that it doesn't work on everything. Anyways, I don't love the microwave up here. I love it, except that it's just, it gets, I love it, except that it gets really dirty. So anyways, so I'm gonna go and do a mirror really quickly. And then I'll show you, I thought we would just kind of talk through, let's just do our houses together today. Come to your house with me if you could use some TLC. Oh, y'all, I forgot my cleaning bucket or my Windex. Come on over, let's get some Windex. I also thought I'd share a couple places in our house that um, I really do like. I will tell y'all, we moved back in January and I have heard for years that moving is a major crisis. <laughs> it's just a hard thing to move. Emotionally, it's tough. And I will tell you that, oh, can y'all, I want you to see this big mirror. This is the mirror we're gonna clean right now, really fast. Um, cause I wanted to, cause it's on our thing to do. This is really hard to show the video here. Huh, okay. Y'all are just gonna have to see it. This mirror I found at a local store and um, I actually saw one like it at TJ Maxx yesterday. So if you're looking for a great mirror, check out TJ Maxx for great prices. I'm gonna do my mirror real quickly. Anyways, moving can be tough. And I realized, oh, there, I can see y'all in, hello, I can see you guys in the mirror. Duh, I didn't realize it would set up like that. Anyways, moving, even when it's a move that you're excited about, can be hard. So emotionally, this has been a rough year for us. Does anybody else feel like that? And we're in a season with kids, anybody else? Anybody else have teens, tweens, that age child? Um, it's been crazy. So getting our home in order is something that I do to kind of like give myself some sanity. Um, and the next thing we're gonna do here is, here we go. Um, and I know that we are, this is house number eight for us. So I also wanna say for anybody who is new at penny pinching, we are, have you ever heard, don't, have y'all ever heard the phrase, don't, look at somebody else's end and compare your middle to someone else's end. This is hopefully the last house we're gonna die in. That's our goal is that we'll be here forever. So I'm hesitant to even show much of our house because I know as frugal folks that um, we are all in different seasons. Even though like we have moved to a place that we're excited about and everything is good, it's still hard. And I know that you know we didn't start with this. So I'm real hesitant to share too much. Um, but I am super thankful and I will tell you that being pinching pennies and also being really lucky in business, it has been a gift for us and I am so thankful every day. So anyways, I'm gonna clean my house. I love the coffee table too. I found it at a store a few weeks ago and I loved it. 
We're gonna um, real fast work on my couch. I was trying to figure out where I could put y'all so that I could show you what I wanna try on my couch. So one of the things today in the planner is to do on Mondays is to vacuum your couch. I'm not so worried about vacuuming the couch. I don't know how I can get you to a place where you can see it better. Hang on. What, cause I hate when y'all are staring down at my legs. That's the problem. So on my couch, one of the things on the planner, and I just encourage y'all today, as you're doing your thing, um, to vacuum your couch. One thing that I noticed on my couch today is my husband sits in that very same spot right there. And we don't, we're pretty good. I will tell you, my family is really good about not eating on the couch, which is why I can have a white couch. I know not all families could do a white couch. Our dog doesn't get up on our couch, but I saw some spots. We've had the couch for about a year and it's done pretty well. And look, I wanted to see if that would work. Y'all, that was just some water. You couldn't see. There was a stain there and I literally just got that off with water. So that's super exciting. So if there's some spots on your couch that could just use some fluffing, I always try to work with just simple water first before adding chemicals. I read that once in a Martha Stewart book and I was like, if Martha says to go with water, I will. So I'm gonna kind of just glance around my couch, see if there's any other bad spots. I didn't expect that to clean so easily. So that's exciting. Um, my shorts are from Stitch Fix. Thank you, they're really pink. They're really, really pink. The rest of the couch looks pretty good. Yay. So I just want to get that, that spot. I didn't think it would become up that easy, but I always start with water first. Um, let's get my can thing here. Okay. So the next thing we're going to do is our kitchen counters. How many of y'all actually, I will show you y'all will get a kick out of this. This glass coffee table is darling, except this is what happens. My dog sits right here. Can you see my dog sits right there and gets, um, slobbers all over. So there you go. Here I am in the mirror. It is so weird. Anyways, y'all, this is an interesting video right now this morning. If you're able, as you're watching, if you're new and you're like, I don't know what this girl is doing and I don't know what she does to your home on Mondays, especially a Monday when we've been traveling and everything else, I just like to kind of reset our house. So I am doing a reset. If you're watching y'all, I will tell you that I have done this since I was in our first little house, which had brown paneling and brown carpet. When I would get Jackson to bed at night, my oldest, he was, we were in this tiny little house. I would get him down for a nap. And that was my favorite thing on Mondays was to just walk around my house, put things away, tidy up my space. And the best thing I can tell you is if you are not in love with your home right now, Remember, this is not what I've always had. So I'm always hesitant to share it because I know we are so stinking lucky and I don't take that for granted ever. Um, but I know that when we were in that place where our house didn't look like this, the best thing I could do was just clean it up and take really good care of it. So I encourage you today to hop up and clean it up. And I'm just gonna finish that with you guys right now. Um, I lit a candle this morning. This is a really silly thing. I don't turn, my, my husband, we are super frugal. So we don't turn lights on in our house. So for 20 glorious minutes on Monday morning, as I'm cleaning my house, this is my little vacuum that I use. I'll use it here in a second. Um, as I'm cleaning my house on Mondays, I turn on all the lights because a realtor told me whenever we were selling our house that if you turn all the lights on in your house, it makes it look prettier. So for about 20 minutes as I'm cleaning on, set on Monday mornings, I turn all the lights on, which is like a big splurge in our house because we do not like to waste electricity because my husband grew up in a house where that's just, we don't waste electricity. So, um, especially right now, heavens, I don't want to waste electricity for sure. But for this few minutes of grace, I light my candles. I do all the nasty little bad spots that get kind of rough and I just fluff up my house. What kind of tile is that subway tile? Uh, it's just, I'm not sure. It was in the house when we got it for sure. You've gotten some sun this summer. I have gotten some sun. It's been so nice. Y'all, I know you're not supposed to get sun and I don't encourage it, but it, it has been nice to have a little sun after being de-sunned this winter. Okay, this is our, I put together, here's my candle lit up. Here is my calendar for the menu plans for the week, which has been fun. Um, Tech is a great product that gets most spread, spread, spots out on stuff. I will have to check that out because I need a good spot remover. I was thinking today I couldn't find a good spot remover. I think when we moved, I put it in a different spot. What is the stainless door under the microwave? Jennifer, let me tell you what that is. Y'all, this house, I will just say, when we purchased this house, it was the easy button for us. Um, we 
literally everything in it was something that I would have chosen. So y'all know that I work a lot from home. We do freezer meals. We do a lot of meal prepping and it is a, what's it called? It's a warming tray. So if I'm making bread dough or if I'm making a bunch of food for the business, which we do a lot of times where we'll make a ton of food on one day, I can put stuff in the warming tray and keep it so the food doesn't go to waste because I hate wasting food. So when I saw that warming tray was there, I was like, oh my gosh. So truly, this was like the easy button on a house for us and we just decided that um, we were at a season when that was worth it and we were so thankful. But even in that, it's been tough like to miss, I miss my old kitchen still, as silly as that is. This kitchen is beautiful and it's so amazing. But I miss my old space. It just changes, you know? Anyways, it was meant to be. I know, MC, I really did think, I was like, when you think about your home for us, my home is our full-time business. So, and we employ several women. So to have a place where we could all come work together on menu plans and really use it as a business resource made it a little, easy, a little easier to have those fun things in the house. Okay, so here we go. Oh my gosh, Mar MC just asked how the bread was. So good. And last night, Reagan made this bread. Reagan made this bread last night that was phenomenal. I was like, okay, she's gonna be the next passionate penny pincher cook. Okay, so we're gonna come over here and I'm gonna finish off my countertops. As you're watching, you guys, go get a candle. Go light a candle. Go get your cleaning bucket. Let's do this together. Please don't watch me do this and just be like, oh yeah, she's so cute cleaning over there. I'm not gonna do anything. Don't do that. Like, come on over. Come clean with me. I'm gonna throw all of my dirty stiff things into the sink. What I love about this is that I can't fix the whole wide world, but I can care for my home and my family well. Um, and a lot of times I struggle with even how well I'm caring for my family. If y'all have teenagers, tweenagers, college age kids, you know, it's a rough season. I can do the best I can right here, and that is so valuable. So I try to take care of the things that I do every day. I try to, and at least do the best I can to handle things that are sometimes harder for sure. Okay, are we doing this? Who's doing their kitchen counters with me? Let's go, and then once we're done, I'll show y'all some peaks um, of the house. And I do wanna say so much, you guys. Let's see, you are always inspiring. Yay, Lizzie, I'm glad I inspired you to get up and get, come on, get up and get going, girlies. Let's do this together. I wanna tell y'all, um, a lot of this is due to penny pinching for a long time. A lot of this is doing, be, I was, I've been really lucky uh, to have an amazing community of women who love our products so we're able to make stuff for you guys and so I don't take any of this for granted. That's my, I'm super hesitant to share my house with y'all because I don't want you to be like, I don't want anyone to ever feel less than. Does that make sense? And I'm going to stop because I'll say something somebody will get mad about but I will just say there is such perspective. It doesn't matter what you have. There's always going to be somebody who has something more or less. Sorry to keep asking about the planner. It's a game changer. Just ordered for the kids. Yay, you got the planner. I'm so glad. Mandy, I hope I can see your question. The new planner is released in September. They're glorious. The kids' planners, y'all, are lowest priced through tonight, 7 p.m. Eastern time. Reagan's going to do a Facebook Live with y'all later. Um, would y'all like to see some of the spaces in our home? I want to show you a couple of things in our house that um, are just fun. To just decorating things nothing I fancy just some neat little things that might encourage you a little bit today like I said my goal is to get this whole house reset so that I can just kind of take a deep breath and enjoy it um, good morning what are you using spring okay I am using the method daily granite granite this is my favorite for cleaning marble granite whatever I don't even know I think the I don't even know what these countertops are but it's what I use okay let's go do our sinks girls on the weekends, during the weekends, I, our sinks get kind of gross, so I like to really get in here and do this. Countertop cleaner, there we go. Please share away, you love your decorating. Thank you, Heather. I'm still figuring it out in this house. This house is a way more modern style than my normal self loves, so it's not decorated super well. It was pretty much done. We had a couple things that we bought, but I have been slowly really fluffing it. I'm gonna get one more rag. I've been slowly really kind of fluffing it. Um, with things that feel a little bit more like us, but it's just interesting. Do not be ashamed of what, thank you so much, Andrea. I thank you so much. And I will say my sweet husband, um, one thing that we are so thankful for is we used to live for 25 years. He has driven an hour for work in the morning and an hour in the afternoon in the evening. And we are now 10 minutes to his office. He works 
about he leaves at six in the morning he gets home at six at night and has done that since we were married way early on and he um then comes home and he does finances for passionate penny pincher so he does his other job at night which is about 10 to 20 hours a week so to be able to be so close to his office like it's like it's weird to have him home so much because i've never had him home so anyways we just feel super lucky but at the same time have any of y'all moved moving's hard i'm just saying it's Anybody else moved? It's tough. Anyways, so I'm trying to remind myself on the days. I'm like, Laurie, remember, it's going to get easier for sure. You love your planner and it's helped you stay on class. You made your bed together today for the first time in forever. Yay. I hope you love the planner. I'm excited you made your bed as well this morning. Doesn't it feel good to just give yourself kind of a summer reset? Yeah, I love that. Okay, so I think I'm going to finish, put all these away. Y'all have a lot of laundry to do today. That's my next thing to catch up on. A lot of laundry to work on. Um, moving is so hard. Thank you, Mandy. I, it's funny. I'm on, we are on move number eight for us. Eight since we've been married. I've probably met like 15 in my life. I'm hoping that I will never leave this place. That's my goal is to stay here for eternity. Um, yeah, so we'll see how that goes. That's the goal, but it is so hard and I don't always think it's gonna be hard. Like I thought this one was the easy one and it has been for the most part, but it's hard for your kids to move. Even if they're older, it's just tough. So um, I encourage you if you're in a weird season like that, hang in there. Okay, you already see a couple places in our house that we love. Um, you moved 18 months ago. For those of you who are moving, give me some tips. Because you'd think I would know how to do this after doing it eight times. Phew, I worked this weekend, especially I think because I'm just going to have it with y'all if you want to hear it. Do y'all want to hear it? I think especially what I've realized is because I work fully from home, um, I don't see people other than my people in my business world or you guys on Facebook. So I don't see humans in real life. So I'm like, oh, I have to remember how to talk to people. Like, I don't see people except this. And that's kind of weird. So anyways, it is definitely different than other folks for sure. Um, you're moving in the work. Oh, Susan. Okay. Susan, I worked full time through our move as well. Let me give you a quick tip. If this might, this might help for three days. I moved down ahead of my family for three days from 4am until midnight. I just did, got it done. I, I did take off most of about two days. It was not easy. Hang in there. <laughs> Good luck. Moving is hard. Chris needs a summer reset too. You are not the only one. Moving is tough. You moved in September. It's rough. Even when it's a move that you want and it's exciting and it's good, um, moving is just not easy. So yeah, I would definitely, y'all aren't alone. Okay. Are we ready to see a couple places? Watch the home edit. They have amazing organizing tips. I agree. Okay. I'm going to real fast flip y'all around here. Okay. So here's a couple little tips of things that I have done that I love. Um, are y'all ready? This is just a, I feel like I haven't just chatted with you guys in a while, so I wanted to get to do that. This is a gallon anchor hawking jar, so you can get it at Walmart. These are just some hydrangeas that you can pick up. Maybe if you're lucky enough to have some in ba your backyard. Right now, hydrangeas are everywhere. Um, you can also get them usually at Kroger or Publix, um, three for like 12 bucks. So that would definitely help you for sure. Um, yeah. These are from Wayfair. They were pretty cheap. Um, this was a sweet gift from an assistant that has been so precious and I'm super excited about. These I've had forever. They're just some wood beans and this is from Target. So um, that kind of shows you for sure. Oh my goodness, Angie just moved two weeks ago with teens. Oh, Angie hugs. I wish I could hug your neck in real life, Angie. I'm telling you, it is not easy. Um, okay, so that's the hydrangeas. Let's come on over here and I don't really have anything else decorating wise to show you. I mean, Y'all know kind of my rules on things. I keep everything white. So just because it's less stress for me, I have serious ADD. And so the more I see things, um, lots of other colors, it stresses me out. So this is just a white thing. This is from Walmart. Um, these, I just only put white things in it, mostly because again, I have, I visual clutter stresses me out and I can't get things done. So that makes it super easy. Um, then these are just some fresh peaches, which I'm trying to let ripen up. And it looks like my husband got some plums yesterday. Ooh, those are ripe, y'all. We didn't eat those. Um, then a spoon rest and a, you know, just wood little tray. So simple, super, super simple. This is my Macy's Mar Martha Stewart um, cast iron that I love. I showed y'all I got this at Target 
a couple weeks ago and it's where we keep our menu plan for the week so i'm trying to remind myself especially this summer i've got two both of my girls are home this summer i'm wondering if this is going to be my last summer to have caroline home so i'm trying to make this still a happy place even though she's just moved here so i try to like put a little sign out for the day um this is my planner corner where i keep kind of all of our stuff together for our um i keep my bible for my scripture reading each morning i've not been great about that i am super excited um about getting back on track. I'm also super excited because we are reading through Job, which means right now in the planner, we're in Job. Next is gonna be um, Psalms, <laughs> so I'm ready. Is that right? Job Psalms, yes. We're almost to Psalms, y'all, if you're doing the planner. Hang in there. Um, do y'all wanna see the pantry? I, I, sh I feel like I should, I wanna wait to show you the pantry, but you're here and you've stuck on this long. Okay, so here's, <laughs> here's the pantry. This is crazy. This is, my favorite thing i don't think it's and we're my friend lily has come over and organized it for me and my husband hates it <laughs> and she i love it so this is the pantry the best thing about the pantry is it's a walk around pantry and this was again remember y'all that this is not just a normal house it really is a business for about 15 women so this is where we do everything so everything starts from here now the women don't work here most of the time but occasionally we do meet here so anyways this is the pantry um, I thought y'all would just love a peek. I feel like I just haven't done a good long visit. Um, my friends, Lily came over and she has been organizing all the things and I am just so pleased with the way she, what she's done. Um, again, James does not like this, so men will not like this, but all of our, these are just mason jars from Walmart. The anchor hawking, I'm sorry, those are anchor hawking jars. I know, the pantry is the best. Um, these are from TJ Maxx. This was the thing that Lily did that is like totally blowing my mind every day. So she took regular mason jars. Hang on, I wanna show you all these. This is just gonna be a long video. We're just gonna chat. These are mason jars that are from um, just regular mason jars. So you can get these super inexpensively at anywhere. And then these are just the little lids. And what she did was all the nuts that we had like 78 bags of nuts and raisins. She put all of them into this. And I didn't think that it was going to be a game changer. But what I love is now I'm like, you do not need to buy another raisin because I've got golden raisins and I've got craisins and I've got raisin raisins. And then I don't need to buy another nut. And so often when they're in those bags, um, I don't see them. So my husband doesn't like unpackaging things. This is what he doesn't like right here. For those of you who want to know, he thinks like this for him is very stressful and he, he likes the boxes. He does not like these for cereal. I love them. They're from Sam's Club. I think they're amazing. He keeps coming in and like purposely, like he went out the other day and bought extra cereal just so we would have more boxes just to make, cause he was like, I don't have any cereal. Um, yeah, anyways, so we have all of our snacks kind of down here, all of our vitamins here. Again, Lily did this and she did an amazing job for me. I am so thankful. Um, this is the, just all of our breads and stuff. Um, he just doesn't, he, he's bad, he won't use it. <laughs> anyways, he doesn't like it. We've got our baking supplies up there, cookie cutters, all that kind of stuff up high. All of our cookbooks are up here. Um, this is where all of our menu plans for the week are. We actually aren't doing a ton of menu plans this week. So those are like a lot of the food is leftover food, but you can see that's where all the supplies would go. Again, think of this as a home office pantry because I do so much cooking in here. The other thing I'm super excited about is one of the big frustrations for me in our old house was that all of my crock pots were downstairs. And so y'all know we do Crocktober. I do a lot of crock pot cooking. I do lots of recipes, lots of videos. I do video reels. Um, and I was always having to run up and down the stairs every time I wanted to get out a crock pot. So to have everything up here so that I can easily go access what I need to make a video is super nice. Um, just really, really, it's just nice. And I feel very spoiled. And um, again, as a business owner, this has been fun. Where'd you get the wire baskets, y'all? She found these at um, Target and they were on sale for four bucks. So these were, I think she did the whole pantry reorganization for like $150, which is insane to me. So, oh, and I love, again, these are just big anchor hanky hocking jars from Walmart. So, so fun. I know the, when we bought the house, they didn't have any outlets in here. And that was the only thing we asked them to change in the whole house was to add outlets in the pantry, because obviously like that's amazing. Anyways, I know the pantry is amazing. It is my dream pantry. We have, I'll show you these guys. We've got some lazy Susans and some again there's our pasta containers this one thing also because we do so much cooking on video 
y'all just don't even understand <laughs> the amount of work that goes like if you see a video on here I've usually done about an hour of prep work for every cooking video so I was over purchasing food because I didn't have time to think through what we already had so now we have it all organized and it's so good I've got little signs to say do not buy another bag of garlic y'all I have a garlic obsession but so often I'm in such a hurry to buy things so I'm hoping I can keep this organized y'all we will see how I do um I really do love it though. So, okay, do y'all wanna see? I'll show you a couple other places in our house that I'm just super, that I like. Um, if you wanna see it, I love the plug. I know, it's the best. Um, this is my little coffee area, and this is a sign from Hobby Lobby. I think it was like $12, but it makes me really happy. I've had it for about eight years now, and I love it. These were from FabFitFun box. I think they're so cute. Um, I actually just found that at Kirkland's. It's my favorite new coffee mug. Um, I know to have a place for my appliances you guys you just can't even know after running up and down the steps forever it was crazy I found these guys I'll show you a couple more just decor things um, that little top sign is from Hobby Lobby it actually broke the glass in it but I love it these guys are from TJ Maxx I just got them yesterday because we're hosting a shower and so I kind of wanted to like um, get these shelves kind of staged um these are from these are my favorite uh probably my favorite second favorite ever souvenir these are from a trip that we took and i just love them they're actually the um in the sound of music the catholic hang on the church that maria sings at this is the church so um, those are probably my favorite how do you organize your overflow of cleaning supplies um, I really just keep, I have a small area in my kitchen, or I'm sorry, in my laundry room that I keep them in. These are a couple happy books. Um, it's so, it's Nicole has come in, thank you. It's taken some time. Again, these are all just things from Hobby Lobby and Home Goods. Like nothing is expensive at all. I really will say the one thing that I've made in our house for me, that works for me, is y'all know I have some limits on what I buy. So if I buy something for our house right now, I either buy, it either has white, white, <laughs> wood especially in our kitchen wood like that kind of rattan baskety look leaves obviously are fine those are from amazon um, or gold and then i do a little bit of blue so if i see something red i don't buy it because i just know i'm not into red so anyways you love the simplicity would love to see how you organize your cabinets oh can i show you my cabinets y'all we're just going to do a long video today i don't know if you love this or not but let me show you this is probably the smartest thing I feel like I've ever done as far as organizing. So this is our dishwasher right here. This is the first house I've ever had drawers in. Every other house we've had hasn't had drawers. So my dishes are right here. So all of my plates literally come from, I go from here to here. So everything in our house is like at optimum efficiency. Remember I work probably 40, for 12 years, I've worked 40 to 50 hours a week. I'm slowing down a little bit for sure, I feel like. I see slowing down, and my goal is to get two days off a week. That's what I would really like to get to a place where I can have two days off. But everything is right there. Um, oh, sure, yeah. Everything's right here super easy so that I can just access everything. I don't remember. So that basically, the things that we use the most are right across. So if you are organizing your kitchen, I, I don't know what made me think of that as I was doing it, but if you can put things that are, that you use the most directly across from your dishwasher, it's gonna be way easier. And then, I don't know what this looks like up here. I'm like, my husband, and then here's our other stuff. So just glasses kind of stuff. My husband's, my in-law's favorite navy glasses that my kids don't wanna get rid of ever. Um, yeah, you love red. Susan, if you love red in your kitchen, then you do red. Like, I just am not a huge, I, I am a blue girl. <laughs> this is our last thing I'll show you. I'm so proud of this. This was also, Lily came over and organized these guys, and there you have it. So, um, I can't even tell you. I know, Stacy just said, brilliant idea for the dishwasher. I mean, that to me is so smart. Where did you get your utensil organizer? I think I just got it at Walmart. Y'all, most everything I have is from Walmart, so. Walmart, Walmart, or Target. These are tar Target, Target, yeah. Walmart, Target, Home Goods. Don't ever spend more. Um, the rugs are from Pottery Barn, yeah. How do you keep your white boiler pot so clean? It's probably not real clean if you look up close. It looks, see, it's bad. Okay, 
Um, yeah, just so you know, there was something. Oh, let's see. Let me flip this around really fast. MC asked where our favorite painting is. It's in Jackson's room right now because I don't have a place for it yet, but there's not a wall that's the right size for that painting, which makes me super sad. So anyways, y'all, I am so thankful for the space, but I just encourage you back when in every house we've had, what I would do is when my kids were napping, I would go through and I would just kind of put away all the things, clean up all the space, and just take care of what you have. So your house doesn't have to be anybody else's house. Do not look at anybody. Don't look at anybody on Facebook. Don't look at anybody on Pinterest. Don't look on Instagram because I do it too. I look on Instagram and I'm like, what I have is stupid nice. I am so stinking blessed. It's ridiculous. But it's so easy to hop on Instagram and be like, oh, she has that? Maybe I need that. And it doesn't matter if you have $5 or 10 bajillion dollars. It doesn't matter. It's easy to compare yourself. So. Don't do that. Clean up the kitchen you have right now. Deep clean that sink that you're looking at right now. That sink that's full of dishes and you're like, I am so sick of it, it is not even worth it. Soak it up, scrub it down clean. Get all the hot, soapy, warm water, light a candle, turn on some happy music. Make it feel so special for you because whatever space you have, like mine didn't start out like this, guys, this is the end. So I just wanna encourage you, if you're not in the end, if you're in the middle or if you're in the beginning or if this is not realistic for you ever, that's okay. Like, and I will say loud and clear, I've seen it all. I've seen, I, I grew up with very little. I've seen it from the full gamut. Whether you have a lot or whether you have a little is not gonna bring you any more joy in your life. It's not gonna make you happier. It's not gonna make you feel better. It's not gonna, it's a, it, sad things happen. Life is hard no matter what. So soak up a place you're in, wherever it is, get some candles, get some flowers. Go, if you don't have any flowers and you're like, Laurie, but wait, I don't have any money for flowers. My bet is that something is blooming outside your house, right? Something, even if it's just some grass, you can, even if it's a sprig, a sprig, go grab a pair of scissors, take it outside, get a glass of ace from Goodwill for 30 cents, y'all. Let me show you, you wanna see my favorite glasses right here? My favorite glasses. These are from the Dollar Tree. They were a dollar. You don't have to spend millions of dollars to make a house that feels especially lovely at all. Does that make sense? So, y'all, this, <laughs> It's been interesting. This has been a year for us and maybe it's been a year for you too. Maybe you're feeling tired. Maybe social media has made you, uh, let's not even talk about that, right? Um, maybe you're feeling exhausted, don't. Soak up your space. I'm gonna read your questions and comments super fast and then I'll hop off. Dandelions, MC has dandelions, MC. How, you know what, if they're the yellow dandelions, are they the yellow ones or are they the white ones? As long as they're the yellow ones, they're perfect. My problem is we only have the white ones that are like, you can't even get up off the stick. Anyways, um, Cindy, thank you so much. Dan, you have an amazing day too. Cindy, Christine, I'm so glad that I encouraged you today. Um, just cleaned all your kitchens. Yay, Cindy, I'm so glad you got your kitchen done today. Amy, I'm tickled you're here. Aw, oh, Sammy Joe. Soak up the space you're in, Sammy Joe. wherever you are this minute. And I just wish I could, especially to you young moms who are like, I'm never gonna have that. Y'all, I sat right there in the same space. And, and even, and it doesn't matter whether you ever get it or not. It's just having a clean kitchen is all you really need. And I will say declutter, 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 because it'll make you feel better. So even now I edit our house like every week. I just put a bunch of stuff to Goodwill because I just keep thinking, do I really need that? So as you're working today in your house, look through and say, do I really love that? Do I need that? Can I get rid of that? Would my house feel happier if I didn't have that? Because sometimes it would. And if red is your color, it's the one person who said red was their color. That is awesome. If red, I mean, I'm wearing pink pants for the love. Like if red or hot pink is your color, that's fine. For me, most of the time I like white and wood and that's what makes me happy. And it's a lot of it just because I have ADD and I get excited. <laughs> and so it helps me to just be like, Oh, settle your life down a little bit for sure. Okay, um, I'll get any other questions super answered. Um, we see the light at the end of the tunnel next year. You'll be saving for a new home. Everything else is paid off. Lacey, I am so proud and encouraged for you. I love that. Oh, Linda, thank you so much. Such good advice. Need to hear this message. I know. I. It is so easy, you guys, to feel like the whole world has stuff. And it just. I just can tell you from both sides, whether you have a lot or a little, having a clean space that is cared for is the most important thing. So clean and care for your space that God's given you today for sure. Um, oh, Rhonda, thank you so much. I am so thankful for my team and for what we get to do. Um, I have been feeling a little 
discouraged and I was like, you know what, if all my job is is to just hop on and encourage ladies, then I'll keep at it as long as y'all will hang out with me. So thank you for hanging out with me. Plastic containers are a big problem in our clean container in our kitchen. Pamela, one thing I would encourage you with plastic containers, this is one thing I'm doing for myself that might be helpful for you. I really edited down what we have to really keep only what we truly use. And every time, y'all, you may think this is so tacky. Y'all tell me if you think this is tacky. If I have a Cool Whip container or a um, sour cream container, any container that I have that's like that I can wash and reuse, I've got a big place that I'm keeping those in so that if I have family come visit or somebody's over, I can easily send it home with them in a Cool Whip tub and I'm not worried about losing my plastic wear. So I'm like, I only keep the plastic wear I need and then I keep lots of Cool Whip containers so that if somebody needs to take dinner home, I can hand it to them and it's not a big deal. Um, you were sitting on your couch with when your life came on. Thank you, your kitchen is done. Yay, go get some candles, Michelle. I'm tickled for you. I'm so glad, Bobby Joe. Um, thank you so much, Holly. You're so sweet. Too. I'm so glad when I can encourage you. Roberta needs to organize your, her workspace. Roberta, I am with you so much. MC, less is more for sure. It feels so much better when you have less. Thank you. Oh, Bonnie, I'm so glad you're here. Thank you so much. Y'all are so sweet. I know, Mindy. I wish, I wish I didn't feel like, I'm so thankful. I am so thankful and so humbled. You guys, you will never know the full story of how I got from the beginning to here. So um, if anyone had ever told this 220 pound kid in college that kid in high school that she would ever get to live in this world i feel very out of place and very unworthy every single day and it's honestly because of you guys and you all supporting what we do here so when there are days that i i was thinking the other day i was like gosh do these like these people don't need me the world is crazy and the recession is nuts i don't even know what the recession is going to be y'all i'm not calling anything on the recession i have no idea what's happening i am i don't know about that but i was just thinking what if like nobody needs the stuff we make? Like, are we really doing anything that adds value? So I want to make sure that what we do and what I do when I hop on here, I just want you to know, I want to be an encouragement for y'all. I want to add a little value to your lives. I know there's lots of other influencers out there. You can follow oodles of people, um, but I just am so humbled by you guys. And so I hope that I can encourage you to tidy up your kitchen a little bit and maybe just make your space a little bit better because there are days when I'm like, Lord, do these ladies need one more person to talk at them each day? And I know you don't, you don't need me to be here. So um, I am humbled and thankful and grateful for you and for what you do for me each day. And I'm thankful y'all, my team, it, does, it is 99% done by them. I just get to be the girl who cheers people on on the front side. So I'm, I'm just really thankful. Anyway, sorry. That was a lot. Y'all, did you need that? <laughs> I was weepy yesterday thinking about it. I was like, Lord, do I just need to be done? Is there like something else? Is there like somebody locally that I should be serving? And then it was almost like God was like, Lori, there's like these women who nobody else may hop on and encourage them today. So maybe you can keep it up. So I'm going to keep it up. <laughs> so anyways, sorry. But Facebook, let me tell you, Facebook and Instagram make it hard. Anyways, that's all. Okay, sorry. I didn't mean to get weepy this morning with you guys. Good gravy. Um, phew. I hope it's okay in the post, but it's, oh, thank you. I would love to see the video for that. I'm not writing a book. Um, you know what? I really hope that our planner, I never wanna, I don't think we're gonna write a book. There is a, well, I might even tell y'all there. There's something in the works, possibly, that will be in a place of a book. We'll just call it that. Um, because my goal is never to just write words. Y'all hear words all day long. My goal is to give you tools that help you live a more beautiful and full life. So if I can do that, um, I'd rather do that than write a book. Um, anyways, phew. Good gravy, y'all are so sweet to me today and every day. Um, oh, I'm so glad I'm your favorite penny pincher. Oh, Tiffany, don't worry, I'm not done. But there are just days, y'all, this has been an interest, don't y'all think this has been an interesting season? And personally for me, with a move and college age kids and just thinking, Lord, where am I called to serve you today? Um, I wanna always be in a place of service. So anyways, um, I am so thankful for you guys. You guys have let us do so much more than this mama could ever have dreamed. And a lot of like this kitchen, when I looked in the pantry and I saw things, I was like, Laurie, that will make serving those folks easier for you because you'll be able to literally not have to go and set up so much stuff. Um, and just know uh, this is not the world I grew up in. And I've seen a lot of other things. And uh, just like you have, just like you have, I've seen a lot of other things. And so I know every day how thankful I am. Anyways, y'all are the sweetest. Um, please don't worry, I'm still here. <laughs> 
Um, but like I said, it was, we had a really good message at church yesterday and I was like, Lord, thank you for that. And the reminder that I'm called to serve you guys. So I was like, Lord, for whoever's here this morning, I'm serving them. So girls, go get your cleaning bucket, whatever it is, whatever it looks like. Do your planner if you have a planner. If you need the kids' planner, it's a great deal today. The price will go up on those tonight at 7 p.m. Eastern time. Reagan is going to do a Facebook Live. She promised me. So when she wakes up, she's still sleeping because it's summertime and we're letting the girls sleep. Um, oh, Susan says good gravy too. I love that. Get your stuff together. Get your cleaning bucket. Do some cleaning. Do some laundry. I'm going to go start some laundry. And um, anyways, I, you can re-watch the video here shortly. Y'all have a beautiful day. Thank you for hanging out with me this morning. I really needed to see you guys today. So thank you for blessing my socks off every day. I am so crazy thankful for you. Y'all are amazing. Thank you. Guys, have a great day. Bye.